everybody, hello, hello, and welcome back. I hope you all have had an amazing week thus far, um, and are looking for and have a good weekend ahead of you planned. Um, or if you have like work or something, I hope you are, you know, managing to make it through. Um, <clears throat> I hope you all are doing well. Um, and welcome back. Um, before we get properly started, links not just the link tree where you can find my socials my discord etc uh youtube etc but also my patreon where you can support me directly um but uh yeah um i'm not gonna harp on too much about that um let's see what else? there was something else i was gonna say um i don't remember what was it um Completely blanking. Fuck, what was I gonna say? Yeah, I don't remember. But anyway, um, uh, it, it'll come to me if it's important. If not, oh well. Anyway, um, like I keep saying, I hope you all have been doing well and, and are doing well. Um, we're gonna be diving back into the uh, Shadow of War DLC. Um, as you can probably tell from this right here. All right, 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 right here. There we go. Um, but, um, hmm, thinking. Yeah, no, that's it. We're gonna be diving into that. Um, <laughs> I did a decent bit of grinding, and I'll catch you up on that in a second. Um, oh, I had something. It's at the back of my head, and I can't. Uh, oh, well, whatever. Anyway. Um, oh, if you're watching this on YouTube, uh, please like, subscribe, comment, and help with the algorithm type stuff. You know, I appreciate it. Anyway, let's go ahead and get started. Enough dilly dallying. All right, so I have completed each of the uh, legendary sets except for the Lightbringer, which is the specialty one. We will be completing that one today, but I wanted to have a little bit of a fashion show for you guys because the... Uh, because the, uh, <coughs> the outfits are kind of nice, honestly. So, like, you know, look at her. Um, but, like, let, let's, let's, let's show off a little bit. So, like, you know, we got, uh, obviously, obviously my favorite's going to be the black and red one with the gold accents. Um, so, like, the Fire Chaser's Blade, it's got a nice... Iron, uh, nice steel blade with some gold accents and some red uh, on the hilt. Um, as you can see even better in this image with the Fire Chaser's dagger, you know, you can see the gold accents and the red hilt. Uh, the bow, I love that design. I'm loving that design so much. Um, but of course, here's the ar general armor here. You can, I love the, the black that has the red that kind of looks like uh, it, it's like the fade between black and red, almost like a fire in the night sky. It's very well done. And then the cloak, uh, I'm anything that is black and red, I... And of course, now you can actually see the blades a bit better in their sheaths. Uh, and they, they look quite nice and quite beautiful in those sheaths. And then here's the gem, and the, of course, the Fire Chaser's Rune gem is, of course, a red gem. And I believe it's gold? I can't tell in this lighting. It might just be black. Anyway, next on the list are, is the Beast Hunter, which is the one we've been... Oh, that's not Beast Hunter. That's Beast Hunter. Uh, Beast Hunter. Beast Hunter. Beast Hunter is the one we had before. Uh, it's not the original armor we started the game with, but it's the first one we got. 
<laughs> but I never really showed it off. Um, as you can see. It's quite nice. It's quite nice. Uh, it's pretty straightforward. Makes me feel like a grass type Pokemon. Uh, let's go to the Serpent's Blade. Uh, this the serpent armor serpents. What's it? What's it? Serpent tamer um, The serpent tamer armor there's green tints to the blade uh, kind of like a greenish blue tint to the blades with green on the ha hilts um, and uh, You know <coughs> And of course, the rune gem is green, but uh, it's a darker green. Uh, hold on, let me look at the. Here's the. <coughs> Excuse me, serpent tamer, and the beast hunter. You can see the difference. This is like a the serpent tamer is like a darker forest green, whereas the. Uh, Beast Hunter is a lighter, like, grass green, almost. Um, so now we swap over to the ice armor. So, it's a nice, cool blue, like, a very re uh, uh, evocative of ice and cold and winter. <coughs> Excuse me. I love the blue blades. Um, I love the blue blades and the blue gem. Uh, and then, of course, we have the default outfit, which is uh, Eltariel's default outfit that she starts with throughout the main game and throughout the cutscenes of the main storyline. I like this because it actually looks like armor. You've got the scale mail and the things like that, you know. Now, the little bits I have of the Lightbringer armor. We have the bow, the chest piece, the hood, and the and the gem. We're missing the blades, the two blades. But uh, look at that bow. I love that bow so much. And I love that this looks like her default armor, but gold, you know? I love that. I love that so much. Like, look at that. I, I, she actually looks like she's dressed as an elf here rather than the bluish. Um. And then, of course, if we do with those, <laughs> um, totally not a little over the top. However, for the sake of intents and purposes, we are going with the complete fire uh, set. And now we are going to get the Lightbringer set. So. As I was complete, when I completed each of the four basic sets, the beast tamer, the serpent, uh, the beast hunter, the serpent tamer, the ice and the fire, as I did those, uh, I got, uh, I was getting pieces of the Lightbringer uh, set. And I'm down to just two left. And that g with the last one, it gave me a mission to get the to defeat the lawless and reclaim the final weapons and armor of the fallen elven heroes uh which is the lightbringer set <coughs> i think i'm assuming it's the lightbringer set because it's the symbol um and uh so yeah we're gonna do that first and foremost so uh Let's get going, shall we? Oh, also, I totally forgot to check. Um, unlocked. 
I have completed all of the... Like, here, we'll just show them here. I have completed all of the... Uh, little side... Uh, little challenges to level them up to level 35. <laughs> and I've done all of them for the Lightbringer pieces that I already have. So... Also, as you can see, I've done some grinding on the gems. I still need two of these circular ones, but that's going to take me a while, and it's not really that much of a priority. Defeat the Lawless and reclaim the final weapons and armor of the fallen elven, elven heroes. So you come to do battle, not with a feral orc, nor a terror orc, nor a marauder. No tribe chooses the manner or the limit of the suffering I inflict. You face the lawless! Okay, he's dazed by stealth, damaged by light, executions, and stealth attacks. He's immune to arrows, fire, poison, and beast. So basically... He counters frontal attacks, so I need to I do need to be stealthy to him. <coughs> um deals immense damage. I have to execute I, if I, any executions I do have to be from behind. He's got a cursed weapon and gang of savages. Okay. Okay. Uh he's not Ice proof. First weapon. That gives me an idea. So, if I remember correctly, invisible when cursed. Yeah. While cursed, gain wrath. Hitting shot. He's immune to arrows, so that's probably not a good thing to go with. Um, did it say he was immune to poison? Yes, he's immune to poison. Um, and fire. Uh, okay, what do we have here so far? Ranger attacks with a bow. Freeze him. Okay. What do you have? Perfect counter freezes enemies. Um... Freezing cone. Honestly, I'm just gonna go for the whole ice set.
my dude. Hit me. <laughs> I love that he technically killed himself. Doubtless, another elf will come and seek these trophies. I will hold one last artifact for myself and await the challenger. I have no tribe. I'm not hindered by order. I am chaos. All right. Now, give me a second. Because I don't think I played all of the appendixes here. Blades. I don't think I played them all on stream. Many elves have been sent to Mordor, and each has met their end here. They come clad in formidable armor, wielding mighty weapons. And when they find an orc, they kill without mercy until they find me. I have no tribe. That is why I can best our elven enemies, consigning warrior and weapons alike to the mud of Mordor. The rage and fury that is gifted to our race, I do not harness it, I unleash it. And I call on all orcs to throw off their masters and their petty allegiances and storm all Middle-earth as one. <laughs> we ought to have our victories, as any army of our size must. But our triumphs are a mere shadow of what we could accomplish if we were unleashed. And our masters know this. That is why they keep us down. We must not fear them. It is they who should fear us. What do the elves face in Mordor? The tribes, ordered and regimented, an abomination. <laughs> the perfect state of orcdom is chaos. That is where our strength lies. Tribes are an attempt to impose order where there should be none. It cuts us down as surely as an elven blade. And then, of course, this is the one we just watched. I just heard. Another elf will come and seek <coughs> these trophies. I will hold one last artifact for myself and await the challenger. I have no tribe. I'm not hindered by order. I am chaos. What's interesting is I don't think we have the dagger. Oh, it, no, it, it did both. It did both. Okay, good. There we go. I have to kill a blinded captain with an execution. And kill a blinded captain with a stealth kill while invisible. All right. Melee attacks against blinded enemies. Create light explosions. Okay. I vanish for 10 seconds after a brutalized kill. Um, re replenish elf shot when killing a blinded enemy. Shield unleashes an explosion of light when I am attacked. Radiance duration is increased by 100%. 75% increase, uh, increase to stealth attack damage when invisible. And Elven Light also activates Radiance. Okay. You have done a fine thing. You've avenged your forebears. You can save your praise for whoever avenges me and finds my gear strewn about this cursed land. <laughs> Shh. 
El Tariel is so salty. All right, let's go find a captain to blind and execute. Um, this one right here. Proof and poison proof. Good. He's got a blood brother. All right. He's not immune to light, which is good because that would have been bad. All right. We're just going to take you and your existence. Brief second. It's fine. out for a second. Heal. Fine, this is fine, this is fine, this is fine. God damn it again. I'm dead. Just trying to build up my mic. God damn it. Nothing personal, Elf. When the Overlord says you die, well, you die. I mean, at least he follows orders. Ooh, that was a hell of a level up. He became fiery. Let's go get a... <coughs> Let's go end our vendetta against you, my dude. All right, where are you at? You're over there. You must fight on. Uh, okay. Death will not, at least. I 
that's not the button. I oh, right. I can set light traps. I completely forgot about that. Get revenge. There he is. Now he's immune to light. Oh, God damn it. All right, let's... Can I find another captain to kill? Can I just not do that? Apparently not. All right, fine. Ah, there are other captains with him. Are you immune to light? You're immune to execution. That doesn't help me. There's another captain. Are you fireproof, but you're not light blue proof? Okay. Did I kill you once already? Ah, oh, bollocks. It's called revenge. Sniper, you're a sniper. <laughs> On just a second. Ouch, let me check my character. Are you set to shield? Where is... There it is. Uh... No, it's not. Yes, you are set to shield. Okay. Would you... Stop it! Please. He's poison proof. Brutal frenzy. Okay. Stop. Oh God! Hi. Not him. Poison proof. Frost proof. Enraged by ghouls. Okay. Area is kind of a little hot. So let's um, dip for a quick sec. Fucking Olog just robbed me of all of my might. Shit. Damn it. Oh, L shot. the ranks a little bit 
You're arrow proof. Oh, fuck me. And, uh, fucking damn it. I just killed the one I'd been babying for a bit, but that's okay. Alright. Alright, so what is this one wanting? Kill a captain with a stealth kill while invisible. Alright. Sure, I can do that. Give me one second. I'm just gonna dip over here. Oh, wrong button. Heal up. Also, I'm gonna just take a second, dip into my inventory, and upgrade this piece. What? Okay. And track that challenge. Lighted captain with an execution. Eh. If I remember correctly, the one on the right is execution proof, whereas you, sir, are poison proof. Okay. second because I also want to do this all right Yeah, okay, I'm okay with that. Yeah, 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 yeah. It wasn't wasn't the best, but I'll take it. Now you, sir. Pain in the ass. Fireproof, but not light proof. Yeah, 
have to do it harder, or I can't feel it! Come here. Yay, okay. Damn it. I tried. I got a little too over eager. Kid, can't be serious. I've had worse from crippled ghouls. Ooh, death defying. Okay. That's right, he's adapted to that. There we go. All right. I just remembered right as I did that, that Elven, the Elven Fury thing makes you able to do executions. <coughs> so yeah, there we go. Fully leveled up and that's everything. And of course, over here in the character, that's all of that as well. All right. So the only things I have left to really grind are the, uh... oh God, what are they called? Um... Are the uh, gems. All right. Now, mission is here. Ow. 
fast travel to there. A duo. Two followers for the price of one. I'm told they're rather excitable. Some orcs have simple pleasures. These two have a love for all that is loud and explosive. Use this knowledge to draw them out, then secure their loyalty. Oh, there's one more below me. Tinder, did you hear that? It was Boos, glorious Boos, who did this. Come on, let's make things go boom together. I am out. I love them. The blade of you make awesome Boos. We have to I love together. them. In fact, we could use your skills for a project we've been working on. If you help us, I, we'll I love them. One, there will be booms. How could I say no to such an enthusiastic invitation? I love them. <laughs> yes, good. Me and my blood brother here have a problem with something that lives in the cave nearby. And it always ruins our fun. Whenever we try to reach new levels of boom. It shows up and puts out all the fire. We want to break it and make it our own. In fact, we'll make a game of it. Whoever makes the most booms in the process wins. I love them. Right? Like, I was thinking Ginyu Force, but you're right. And, uh, oh, self-care check. I am actually out of water, um, but I shall stretch. <sighs> Excuse me. Um, thank you for the self-care check, Matt. But hi, the way, hi, by the way. Um, hi, the way. <laughs> Uh, but I love them. And I recognize the voice too, but I can't quite place it. Here we are. It's a Grog. Of course it's a Grog. One moment, let me swap over to some something a bit more appropriate. Here, my dude. He a big boy. Yeah, it's a cave troll. And I've been nearly dead for years. <laughs> As for this piece, you'll be singing it again real soon. Oh, the sweet boots it'll make. 
You're one of us now. Any time you need something to go boom, just ask. And we won't take no for an answer. I'm honored. No, the no, fucking no, grin. We're honored. I love them. I I love them. I love them so much. And we need like basically imagine Victor meets them as like black powder merchants and that would be fucking amazing oh my god i love them so much flint and tinder are the best thing ever i i i <laughs> the dm gears are turning absolutely um let me let me let me google them real quick flint and tinder uh shadow of war who are they uh voice actors it, their names are literally flack flint and Tor's Tinder. That's not how you spell IMDb. They're a bit, a bit eccentric, yes. Uh, let's see here. Went. Oh. Okay. Shadow of War wiki, maybe. Flint. Tinder. That's that's not how you spell and. I'm so sad. Yeah, I'm not seeing anybody credited with their voices. That's unfortunate. Such base orcs. But allies are few and far between in Mordor. I just hope my ears stop ringing soon. Yeah, the tinnitus is pretty, uh, brutal. Alright, where am I going now? Here. If God, I love those characters so much. I'll destroy it. Either way, it will weaken our enemies. Poisoned ground. The fixer's plan is ready to execute. Meet him to coordinate your attack in the fortress of Saragost. That a ghost. One word. Balance. You're correct. That is one word. There are no <laughs> place. Normally, you poison a barrel. It's good for a couple dead or. But use this poison, and you'll render the entire fortress uninhabitable. Lousy globs don't even need to drink it. Then again, 
There's one blob in there who owes me a favor. I've got to get him out. Oh, I'll catch up with you later. <laughs> Go get me brother out. Go get my brother out. That fucker owes me 10 quid. <laughs> Now we shall see how effective his solutions are, and perhaps why he is providing them. Ooh! Ha <laughs> ha! Another abomination cleansed from mortal! Word of advice. You might want to back away from the poisonous green fog. Once you get the rest of the barrels poisoned, all the orcs in here will have to flee. Or die. Sounds like you have everything Flee or out. die. Except for that grob I need to rescue. He's too well guarded. Could use a hand getting him out of here. If you're inclined. If you're so inclined. <laughs> I hope I owe you a favor. Two now. them so much all the barrels in the outer ward. Time to head further into the fortress. All right, where to? Ah, this way. He's flammable. He's vulnerable to stealth. Damage by ranged, executions, and beasts. Immune to light, poison proof, and immune to curse. Okay, well. Bork, 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 
Bork. Bork, bork, bork. <coughs> well, because he is quote unquote flammable. Excuse me while I equip my favorite armor. Bork, bork, bork. Bork, bork, bork. Good work. Now get to a safe distance and signal me when you're clear. I've placed archers who will blow up the barrels. No one's ever setting foot in this fortress again. <coughs> Time to blow it up, 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 blow it up, up, up. Another fortress taken from the flaming eye, and done so without an army. But the Grave Walker does have an army, and you will have to face him. Mark, mark, mark. All right, so what's my next quest, huh? Nanin? Time to go to Nanin? I am excited to go to Nanin. of Mordor for you. Ever since I first heard the stories of an elf that burned with the brightness of the sun, I never imagined you would be so, so enchanting. Oh. What the fuck? I hereby renounce the dominion of the Dark Lord, the Bright Lord, whatever that cursed eye I took. <coughs> I pledge myself here and now to you. I mean, she is Laura Bailey. <laughs> Matt, back me up here. She is Laura Bailey. <laughs> oh, they. I do have a vendetta over here I want to do real quick. Prick over here. When I was doing some grinding, trying to get, um, to, uh, complete my missions and stuff, this asshole kept killing me. 
So it's time for me to make him pay now that I don't have to try to... <laughs> actually complete something. All right. All right, he's level 61. He's poison proof and immune to curse, but he's not immune to light. So we're gonna swap over to the Lightbringer armor. All right. Hi. Get fucked. The boy. He'll be a certain. Why do you travel so much? I've been tracking you for ages. <laughs> it took forever to finally get here. Your death better make it all worth it. I'm kind of getting mobbed here in a second, but hey, 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 welcome, 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 and thank you for the raid. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Welcome, welcome. I hope you all had a great time over at uh, the Celestial Queen. I hope you all had a great time with Ce the Celestial Queen. You guys just missed it. You just missed it. Uh, I just came to this area and an orc, uh, specifically, oh, does he show up here? Uh, where is he? Uh, Crimp the Enchanted. This fucker right here. <laughs> this fucker right here greets me as I show up to the region. And he's like, oh, very Shakespearean and very overdramatic. And he's like, oh, my lady. I did not realize you were so beautiful and enchanting and like all this kind of wonderful shit And like I just looked at the camera and I said to Matt. Well, she is Laura Bailey <laughs> But um Yeah, no, apparently this guy is fully in love with El Tariel voiced by Laura Bailey <laughs> Um and I can't really blame him. But also, there were two guys earlier who were the best thing ever. Um, you guys will absolutely have to ch watch back the VOD. Uh, I'll, um, I'll try to send, I'll try to send you guys, uh, I'll try to send you links to this stuff, Yvonne, because it's <laughs> fucking great. <sighs> now back to the carnage. Uh, give me a second to heal. Oh wait, I don't need to heal. I w ooh, I do actually, however, want to swap. Uh, let's see here. Shield, restoration. Uh... <coughs> I'll do that. That.
I'll do that. Uh, no, we'll do that one. No, we'll do that one. Um, I like that better. That better. Ah, I'll take that. 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 Okay. Enough of you. Holy shit! That guy just came out of a dark magic cloud. Understandable, it is Laura Bailey. With each kill, I find you. Holy shit, my guy. <laughs> this guy does need a fucking promotion. Holy shit. He killed like two or three captains. Like, again, I understand his motivation is fucking Laura Bailey and also fucking Laura Bailey. So, like... That moment when he's voiced by Travis. Murder! The thing is... I know Travis could do a voice like what he's got, but I don't know if it actually is Travis or not. But that would be fucking hilarious. I do know that Travis does voice orc orcs in this game. All right, my dude, you, you go home. You've done you've done well, my dude. <laughs> you've earned a rest, my dude. All right, where were we? <laughs> Free this cave troll. It's Olog. Fucking hell. You know what? My new puppy. 
My puppy. He's a good boy. He's a good boy. Eat that Olog. Kill him. Good boy. Such a good boy. Go have fun. Ow. Would you all fucking stop? Actually, you know what? Hold on a second. Let me... I didn't mean to kill him. Holy shit. No, stop killing them. I just want to break them. Now all the good boys are mine. I call it a big corpse. Immune to light, immune to execution, immune to curse, and beast proof. Well. I took a good boy out. on his skull. Good boy. All right. Maim him. Such a good boy. Ripping and tearing. <laughs> Murder! Let's go talk to this guy. Murder! Actually, wait. I do want to change back into Lightbringer. Not Fire Chaser. Nope, Lightbringer. There we go. Overlord of Nernin is vulnerable. Assassinate him to reclaim Shocksburg. I'm coming along with you on this one. Me and the old <laughs> score to seven. Murder! <laughs> it's going quietly, though. One of his warriors, Murder! The ambitious sort has a key to a secret entrance on the roof of the keep. We should take care of him first. Very well. Follow my lead.
that is ten times greater in half the time. Vulnerable to light, vulnerable to stealth, and he's clumsy. Okay. Technically not an orc, he is an olog, which are the cave trolls. Technically. Technically. <laughs> like him, that's an olog. As opposed to the uruks, which are the orcs. Fucking hurt. Leave my architect alone. Time to show you real pain. Oh fuck, y'all are following me. <laughs> you are following me. Oh shit. <laughs> I just turn around and there's like seven guys chasing my ass. Oh, well, I mean, that works. Got you to kill your own boss. Thank you, architect. This is wild. You're right. This entire... D the thing is that I've been enjoying the hell out of this DLC so much more than the main game. This... This feels like a drama. The... Th the like, okay, I do actually want to talk about this for a second. This game... The main game is pretty great. Like, it's murdery and gory and all that. Yeah, sure. But, like, it's got a little bit of a tongue-in-cheek charm to it. And then they amp that little bit of tongue-in-cheek charm up to a hundred in this DLC. Because <clears throat> we've come across the architect, the, uh, uh, the guy in the mask that we were talking to a bit ago, and, uh, Flint and uh, two, two orcs who are literally called Flint and Tinder, who are so horny for explosions that they are both burned on half of their bodies. Opposite sides. And... Like, and of course, then there's the Enchanted, the guy who we just came across who is, like, full-on in love with Eltariel. Like, everything, they, they all said, <coughs> our main character is played by Laura Bailey. We need to have someone who is a dead-ass simp. <laughs> And, like, they all have such incredible personalities. The DLC itself is 100% worth all the dead-ass grinding that you have to do in the main game. 
this guy right here that guy with the mask that i just pointed to uh that you know um he was standing next to the architect with like the punisher mask or whatever he um he helps me he helped me raise a fortress to the ground right and he's like before before we do that can you help me break a guy out of prison <laughs> he's like I, I, I got a friend yes exactly we have to have a sip and uh, aka an audience insert absolutely that's exactly what i mean but like this guy with the mask right not this guy on screen right here not not this guy uh let me see if i can find him uh this guy the fixer this guy mr punisher mask this guy he's like okay so here's some dead ass poison that you can take and like you will you you put this in the city and nothing like nobody will live here for 300 years <laughs> you know like it will fill the air like a nuclear bomb <laughs> went off but but do you think before we do that do you think we could actually help best bust my mate out of prison he owes me a, a 20 dollars you know <laughs> He's, this guy is like, you know, could could we? I have this guy who's kind of in prison in the city who owes me some money. Could we break him out before you nuke this city? <laughs> if it's no boulder, if it's no boulder, yeah. I the personalities of each and every single one of these orcs is perfection. Um. Mr. Lovesick over here. Uh, Mr. Architect right here who wishes he was Leonardo da Vinci. Um, I'm actually going to take a second and jump back to Saragost to show you guys Flint and Tinder. Uh, that's not Saragost. That's, uh, that's Gorgoroth. Saragost is... Where's Saragost? Is that a ghost? Here we go. We'll just do this. Zoom in. Keep going. Where are they? We also had this sniper guy who's just like, I, I don't care as long as I get to kill orcs. I don't care who I'm working for as long as I kill orcs. Like, he just wants to murder his own race. He doesn't give a shit about anything else. Ah, here we go. Here's Flack Flint. Right here. Flack Flint. He and his literal blood brother. Uh, where is he? Over here. Tor's Tinder. Literal blood brother. Tor's Tinder. Right? They were dancing around like fucking Ginyu Force Power Rangers villains. And they're just like, yo, if you're, you make big booms, you make big boom, big kaboom boom. You are the best person ever because you make a big boom boom. <laughs> big kaboom boom. <laughs> they don't care who I am. They don't care that I'm an elf. All they care is that I make explosions. And they're like, you're the best person ever in existence. You are the fucking coolest. This DLC is 100% better than the rest of the fucking game of Shadow of War. <laughs> Purely because of the side characters that they have in this. That's it. That's the key to the rooftop entry. 
It's it's amazing. This makes the entire rest of the game like the rest of the game is great. Don't get me wrong, right? Shadow of War, the main game, is amazing. It is a very good game. But this just takes all of the best parts of Shadow of War. No more fire for these boys. And make it a thousand times more. You know, they take the best parts and make them a thousand times more. And it's just, it's, it's great. <coughs> Not a fan of heights, you see. Now they won't be getting any reinforcements from outside. <laughs> Messing with the Overlord's personal grog. <laughs> I like it. I can't wait to see him take a swig. Like, <clears throat> this this DLC is worth the rest of the game, and the rest of the game itself is no slouch. All right, sleep well. I hope you feel better. Did you really think the Overlord would leave it unguarded after the key got nicked? I mean, the key only got nicked like five seconds ago. My mistress demands the she-elf be unharmed. She has sent me and her children to ensure this. Defy her and die. And then there's this Olog, this troll, who is 100% horny for Shelob. Can I level up any more crystals? I can. Ooh, yay. All righty. Let's not, sh let's not shoot the guy who's horny for Shelob in the back. Oh, there's another crystal. Yay. Yo, this guy, <laughs> this guy got killed so hard, his axes are still in the air. <laughs> when you kill someone so hard that their axes are literally still in the air. The maggots defending this fort was soft. Taking it from them was too easy. Perhaps the others? Will be more of a challenge. I, I don't feel so good. <coughs> I poisoned your grog. No, I did not. Now you'll find out what happens when you don't pay your due place. Oh, 
soft headed, dazed by stealth, and fear of Grogs. Well. Stop that. Get fucked. What in the what? What are you wetting about? I feel good. Nothing nah, 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 nah. the score to set you straight. Now to find a new globe to hate. Now to find a new globe to hate. Problem solved. Power of Light just straight up dissolving some fuckers, you know, NBD. Apologies hey, buddy. Oh, buddy, you're fine. You weren't tardy. I'll always be near. I'll always be near. He's such a simp and I love him. I feel called out, but it's, it, I've, I love him. Um, and now we go to Gorgoroth, where we come, where we're fighting some um, Nazgul sisters, basically. The plains Do not go far from me. Lit by the endless fires of Mount Doom, of all the Dark Lord's dominion, this is its very heart. Good place to put a blade. Indeed. Uh -huh, but you will uh -huh, likely need uh -huh. help in this wretched land. Look for allies within it and beneath it. All right, so first quest is over here. Yeah, if he says don't go far from me Sometimes or do not go far from, from me. Places. In Mordor, help from anywhere is expected. I mean valid. In Mordor, it, help from anywhere is unexpected. Valid. The makers of this game would 100% do a Vax and Vex reference like that. Though, I don't think they'd do it with the guy simping over her. Dig... Digger. The... The, the digger. Duh. Duh, 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 duh. Digger. Duh. I am a dwarf and I'm digging dig I am an orc and I'm digging digging holes dig diggy hole Come to kill everything in Mordor, have you? Good. Everything moving around up here makes an horrible racket down below. Down below. You should see it under there, my sharp eared friend. Beautiful. At least it was. Until that lunatic started building his glorious future. Time to bring that crashing down. Get away from there, you rowdy! You are standing in the way of my masterwork! I am standing for those you would crush beneath your internal industry. And soon they too will rise against you. 
This glorious future is beginning to give me pause. Beginning to. Who should I go with? The architect or the digger? D -d 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 dig -er. Leonardo da Vinci or mole person? man a try side with him okay you'll regret this year the new orc kingdom will be built on the ruins of the old and you'll be buried beneath both here's the plan we plant gold bait in the slave camp well i now have to kill the architect Orcs go out everyone's happy Good plan, right? I do admire its simplicity. The men folk may as well. No orcs positively hate goop. Well, he said goop, lover. He's a weirdo. <laughs> Yeah, I didn't know I know that either, but I figured that it would be a you can't come back from this choice. Beneath the ground. Why can't we work together to defend it? They're promising an extra rational. <laughs> <laughs> How have I been detected? Ah, whatever. are killing my slaves and no filthy elf is killing my slaves if anyone's gonna kill my slaves it'll be me now take her out legs we're gonna put you and your workers in the ground i've got a spot all picked out horses too quick for an arrow too quick <laughs> for you <laughs> Immune to light, error proof, and imm immune to curse. Okay. Well, he's immune to light, so. Um. Do some ice.
Oh, is that about being too fast for me, Frick? Of course he is death-defying. <laughs> Ready for round two? Quite a useful trait that Digger has, disappearing into the earth. I don't think he'll stay disappeared. Something tells me he'll pop up again. Yeah. All right. Next. All right. Now before before we get into that. Defeat the rogue Nazgul and uh, reconquer, reconquer the region of Gorg Gorgoroth for it's too late for Talion. There's the digger. And there's Talion. Uga Chaka, Uga Chaka. Could not defend and will not breach. You face the army we have assembled to dominate all of Mordor. And you will have the honor of being its first trial. And when your body lies broken on the battlefield, we will hack the wings from your fingers and begin our conquest of Middle Earth. One must admit, they are ambitious. It won't make a difference. Is there not anything you can do elegantly, my lady? Oh, that's, um, Flint 
Hunter Tinder. These Nazgul are gonna get their asses destroyed by me. I almost said eaten. That was not the right thing. All right. Is that a growl I'm seeing? Oh, it's one of these. Turn you around. Stop yes, Tors. Yes! Look at my army wrecking their shit! I will, give me a second. There we go. Italian. There we go.
take me so easily. Oh no! <laughs> Gazes upon me. Your death will please him. Poor Flint, though. Like that. No, not him. Oh, I need health shot. One moment. For Flint, though. You have come far, Elf. We thank you for bringing us the ring. Why fight an impossible battle for the Lady of Life?
Interesting. For the glory of the kingdom, we honor you, Father. It seems you honor yourselves, the rings. Now time for me to kill Talion, I'm assuming. I must get back. I must get back. I must get back. Steady, Ranger. Uh, uh. <coughs> My time has come. Take me home to Gondor. Take the ring, now. You will not get another chance. Please. Don't let me die in this cursed land. He says through with his eyes clear for the first time in a long time. You told me once when the time came you would do what is needed. Give me the ring. Such a little thing. Why should I give it? Talion, do not betray the man you were. You speak to me of betrayal. You abandoned me. You and Celebrimbor. You took everything from me. I have fought this war alone. Talion, you are not alone. This ring is mine. <laughs> and Talion is no I vowed long. 
long ago. Hold on, since I am alone, let me change my character stuff. All right, uh, shield. Uh, yeah. Um, yeah. Uh, now we'll stick to that. That. of the Galadrim! That's such a horde of undead orcs. Hold on. Let me through. Let me through. Let me through. Oh, 
God, Italian, leave me alone. Must you? Italian's wife, who was also voiced by Laura Bailey. continued to fight the forces of darkness. She traveled east, and she returned to Mordor many times. She witnessed the fall of Barad-dûr, and the escape of Celebrimbor. The Ringmaker is free. She lived through the movies, apparently. He calls well, through the me. main story. I will follow his call. The time has come. <sighs> Eltario's story may be over, but there is still more to do. Be sure to complete the Fallen Blades challenges to obtain Eltario's legendary gear, which I did. Um... What quests do we have? 100%, 100%, 100%. Um. Well, we did the thing, y'all. Orcs from the Blade of Gladriel story expansion are now are now available in Italian's garrison. Oh, great. There she is, 100%. I'm not going to do much with the with the main game cuz I'm done streaming that. Just because the rest of what's left is just 100% grinding. I just want, I want to see which ones are in the garrison. <laughs> Architect. 
<clears throat> Slayer of the Dead. Og, Bow of Morgoth. The Thrall. Lothlorien Hunter's War Chest. Tinder. No, but it's definitely got Tinder. No Flint. Shame. Flint is forever dead. We have the Fixer. We have Tinder. We have the Enchanted, and the and the Digger. Digger. And they're all legendary. Curious. Fixer. Marauder. Or Feral. I mean. Tank or Mystic? Nah, I'm not gonna. Hmm. All right. But... All right. <sighs> Hold on just a second, because I just remember there's something else I want to take a peek, take a poke at. Um, in the main thing. Character, change skin. All right, so we have current Talion, OG Talion, Eltariel with her uh, legendary armor set. Uh, the uh. Interesting. Hellbrimbor. And evil Eltariel. Ah. <laughs> uh. But anyway, I just wanted to look. I, I knew I'd unlocked a, a skin, but I wanted to see what it was. Anyway, all right. Uh, I probably will. We probably won't do this too much. Um, we, but we're going to poke our head into this DLC with about Baranor and see, uh, see what it's got <sighs> for the rest of the stream. Excuse me. Mercenaries. We have no hope of taking the fortress without them. If we make it far enough to hire them with those things out there, <laughs> these bones, this place is things larger than us and spat them back out. <laughs> They'll kill us all. Run. Get off the sand! It's all sand! It's all sand. Keep calm! Keep moving! Where? Anywhere that isn't sand! They got him! They got sand! Well, I'm dead. My story is done. <laughs> that was a short DLC. Well, Baranor's story is done. <laughs> ah, I was hoping it wasn't a corpse I was dragging home. Bit, bit oh, weird, <laughs> it's the dwarf from the first game. What happened? I'm sorry, lad. They weren't as lucky as you. 
Thank you for saving me. Oh, you don't like me. Ah. The dwarf from the first like game. This. That little darling's a bit twitchy, but she should get you up to my camp, no trouble. I've uh, got a newer one myself. Worked out all the hitches. Hitches? Word of advice about the claim. If you don't like heights, don't look down. And if you don't like dwarf asses, don't look up. <laughs> oh, man. I missed him. This device, you built it? You don't need to flatter me, lad. I already snatched you from the nasties. No, what you got there's Numenorian. Loads of their contrivance been scattered around from way back. Very useful. Who is grabbing it without the worms grabbing you? I found a few promising sites. Got them all sketched out. You bring what you find back to me. I'll tinker till it does what it used to. Or does something anyway. Then you can field test it. Make sure it's safe. Sound good? More than fair. I missed Torvin so much. He was so great. If you're moving in furniture. But on the plus side, worms don't like heights. And also, no, not. Also, it's rock up here. So. What are you doing so far from Gondor? Looking for the Vanishing Sons. They're a mercenary company. Yes, I hired a few of them to look for Numenorian bits. Now I owe their leader a few <clears throat> mercenaries. I've got just the thing to get you to where they are. Just don't tell them where I am. What do I do? Just run off the edge of the cliff. Run off the edge of the cliff. <laughs> These are the places to poke around for more Numenorian goodies. <laughs> Go on then. I've used this thing myself. Not a bump or a scratch. Press space bar to open the kite while in the air. Press E while gliding to drop. Glide over vents on the ground to get boosted higher. <laughs> All right, this this is whoa. <laughs> Just have to not think about it, is all. Right. Getting the hang of it. Nope. I don't know why we are. I touched the ground. Sad face. Okay, I might actually do more of this on stream. That's a rock. I do not know how you would get there without touching the ground. That's a grog. I'm just gonna run. Running sounds like a good idea.
Heard a bunch of Gondorians walked all the way here only to get eaten by werewolves. Why did I expect it to be a woman? <laughs> My name is Baranor. I am second captain of the Gondorian Guard at Minas Ethel. Minas Ethel has fallen some time ago, I remain. I am seeking soldiers. Well, it's difficult to be a captain without them. Lucky for you, I've got the finest warriors in all of Middle Earth. <laughs> Do you carry coin of any kind? Some. Some. You're going to need a lot more than some. <laughs> what are your plans for the raid? I assume you're not planning to retake Minas Ethel. I'm planning to take Shindrum. The fortress? No, 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 no. <laughs> that sounds like the work for heroes. All I can offer you are mercenaries. Look, why don't you come back when you have some more money or sense? What art? How do you know that name? You haven't changed! I remember a boy of seven. Small for his age, so he had a lot to prove. And one day, he decided that he was going to explore the caves of Umbar, but he got himself into a little bit of trouble. Lucky for him, he had a brother. A beautiful, courageous older brother who was sent to look for him. And by the time that champion reached him, he was moments away from being devoured by Karagors. <laughs> Karagors? Jagai! No, 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 little brother. I... I am Serka now. Serka, the unkillable. Serka, the insufferable. Serka, the survivor. But I still bear some scars from my former life. How did you come to be here? Among these Easterlings? Same old story. A village is raided, homes are looted, mothers and fathers are slaughtered, screaming tears. Orcs. Mercenaries. How is it? I should be thankful, though, of course. Eh? Well, he is insufferable, right? <laughs> among such a merry band of killers and thieves. <laughs> but you lead them. Yeah, only until I get a knife in my back. And believe me, that is how all leaders end up. But enough history. Blood only goes so far. You and I, we have business to transact. <laughs> One out of three ain't bad. To hire circus men, select the Vanishing Sons mercenary camp icon and press two to view available mercenaries. Pushing two. Select the mercenary in the front row and press spacebar to hire him. Riaz, his eyes open. Teslik, the loyal. Taha, last word. Maman, the blessed. Shad, the devout. I like to <laughs> the last word. <laughs> Ta -ha! The last word. <laughs> Select your hired mercenary. Command. Bodyguard. Press two to slot your bodyguard. To summon him, you will press two. <laughs> ha ha! Ta ha! Uh, excuse me. No one lives forever. When your health is low, hold left control to open the weapon wheel and hold E to use a healing elixir. You can find more healing elixirs by killing orcs. Baranor is mortal and carries no ring of power. If he dies, his story is over. Your progress on story missions and Torvin skill upgrades will carry forward, but your outposts and hired mercenaries will be lost. Numenorian artifacts are scattered around the deserts of Lithlat. 
recover these ancient devices and return them to Torvin to gain access to powerful Torvin skill upgrades. View a Torvin skill upgrade description in the character menu to see Torvin's sketch of the area to search. Find the Numenorian artifact there, then return it to Torvin to unlock the skill upgrade. If I'm going to take that fortress, I better start with something smaller. Let's see about those outposts. Interesting. Interesting, interesting, interesting. Okay. Wonder whatever happened to that ranger Talion. He had a bag of tricks, that one. Could have done with fewer short jokes, though. <laughs> oh, buddy. Buddy. All right. Grapple. Crossbow. Shield charge. Grapple, I can catapult. Grapple pull. Or cyclone. A wrist crossbow. Holy shit. Okay. Okay. down there say if they knew there was a dwarf living right above them hm. probably fetch the big skillet <laughs> god i love torvin i'm so glad he they brought him back for this all right uh let's get the catapult shall we uh the place the big old skull i remember seeing that um wait hold on let me let me check something because we got circuit skills now too. Uh, bodyguard, rally. When your command meter is full, press five to heal and enrage all ni nearby enemies. And refresh named mercenaries as special combat abilities. Okay. Any, bar any bodyguards you do not have currently summoned will be called in, even if their cooldowns have not fully reset. Cool. Uh, leadership intel, gain intel on the overlord or, uh huh. Uh, blood for coin. 20% discount on hiring mercenaries. Unlocked by playing story quests. Okay. And Serka, the commander. Serka will join you as an assault leader in the siege of Shindram. Story upgrades. Interesting. Capacity. Herbalist's kit. Not enough skill points. Marksman quiver. Bombardier's satchel. Okay. Cool. Cool, cool, cool. I'm looking forward to this. And of course, he's got an inventory. Ooh, look at his sword, yo. And his dagger. There's the crossbow. The shield. And his armor. All right. All right. All right. Okay. All right. Let's see if we can't find that catapult. Um, if I remember correctly, that big old face is there. Let's wrong thing. Check that memory. I want 
Got a city in the background. I wonder if that means there's more than one of those faces. Let's see. Can I see anything over here? That looks like a face. <laughs> well, since it was me, probably not a great idea. All right, let's try over here first. There is, indeed, all right, now. The Numenorians set their minds to making a man fly. But when they figured out a device that could do it, they decided they weren't impressed enough with themselves. So they set about improving on it. How could a people who soar like birds fall so far there's hardly any trace of them left. Okay. Now, there's actually something I need to change real quick because I just discovered that some of the controls are a bit a bit wrong. Um. Okay, so it's going to change all of those. So yeah. All right. I am okay with that. I can't all right. wait to see what the dwarf does with this. Or maybe I can. <laughs> all right. Next. Character. Restores health, concussion bombs, steel bolts. That's a captain. Poison proof, frost proof, enraged by stealth. Okay. Out of bolts. Ow, stop that. Fuck. 
All right, I can't. I don't think I could take him on yet. She just. Oh my god. Soon see how these outpost captains stack up against the meanest evil war chiefs. <laughs> okay, so fast traveling does heal me. Maybe I should keep one up here as a fuel source. <laughs> oh, what have you got for me? Okay, so I don't have to choose between them like I would with, uh, with, uh, Talion and Eltariel. Press space bar during a grapple to launch yourself past the target point and your kite will open automatically if needed. Oh, that's, that's hard to great. Fix you, right? Come on. Do what I want you to do. Oh, that's awesome. Let's see what the quests are here. Uh, yeah. We probably won't do it tonight. Serko wants me to meet with him. I should find out what he wants. Should find out what he wants. But let's uh Defeat the outpost leaders and capture the victory point. Okay. 
beast proof enraged by weakness and it's tracker warrior okay He's a vault breaker. Oh, there's something I forgot to check. What are my legacy skills? Uh, execution. Surge. Okay. Uh, perfect counter. Brutalize. Critical strikes. Detonating. Uh, ground finisher. Inning. Last chance retaliation. And automatically looting. Okay. the captain there he is would you stop with the damn headbutts dude Pretty cool. That was pretty cool. Awesome. First outpost captured. Awesome, awesome, awesome. Will counter attack and retake an outpost if you do not protect it to protect an outpost assign a mercenary as its leader and in the army menu an outpost with a mercenary leader will never fall to the orcs uh the five slots in the center of the army menu are reserved for outpost leaders 
The outpost leader you just killed has left an empty slot. Okay. Um... Let's go with the guy whose eyes are open. Riaz, his eyes open. All right, skill point. All righty. Some. Uh, uh, never mind. Oh, right. Anyway, it's 10 o'clock. <laughs> Sorry, I, I got so sucked in. I forgot I, I forgot it was 10. Um, but yeah, uh, thanks for tuning in. Thanks for hanging out. Um, I'm going to quickly check to see if there's anybody worth raiding. Uh, where is my... There is my... Um, actually, nobody's on. Well... Nobody that I'm gonna, that nobody that I should raid at least. Like, I mean, uh, there's a few very big name streamers on, and I'm like, nah, nah, they got 1k viewers, and me and my five are not gonna be, uh, my five or six viewers are not, I, I should not, uh, yeah, no thanks. <laughs> Anyway, thanks for tuning in. Thanks for hanging out. I hope you all have an amazing weekend. That's it from me for the week. Um, be sure to check out these amazing people I have listed out up here. Uh, listed up here. Uh, that includes uh, Yvonne B, who raided me earlier, and uh, Melador219, who's been in the chat. But I have even more recommendations in the link tree below. In fact, also, if you go to the link tree, which is right there on screen, big old letters, link tree slash Crimson Knight, you'll also find links to my Discord, my social medias, my uh, YouTube page where you can watch all my VODs, um, my Twitch, where if you're watching this on YouTube you can and you want to watch me live, you can go to my Twitch and watch me live. Um... And my Patreon, which is also listed right below the link tree right here on screen. Patreon.com slash Crimson Knight. Patreon.com slash K-R-I-M-Z-O-N-K-N-I-G-H-T. Um, and uh, if you go there, you can support me directly and help me continue to make great entertainment and uh, streams and content for you guys to consume and enjoy. Um, but... Uh, yeah, I appreciate each and every single one of you. I hope you all have an amazing weekend. Um, remember to have empathy, be kind, be safe, love yourselves and love everyone around you. And I will see you all next time. I love you all. Peace out.